That wild scene over Washington, Florida postal worker somehow lands that gyrocopter right there on the Capitol lawn. He claims he simply wanted to call attention to money and politics, an act of civil disobedience, but he also managed to expose a massive security vulnerability right in the heart of our Capitol. ABC's Jim Avila starts us off. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, George. He landed right here in the shadow of the Capitol Dome, and this morning the Florida postal worker is in a Washington, D.C. jail awaiting charges. It floated in, past the White House, down the Washington Mall, over the monument, on a beeline for the nation's capital. An ultralight helicopter, less than 500 pounds, and carrying one passenger. This is not good, people. The gyroplane flying right through the no-fly zone around the capital, penetrating the missile systems, the radar, and the anti-aircraft weapons, landing right on the west lawn of the capital, 100 yards from the speaker's balcony flown in protest by a former postal worker. I'm going to violate the no-fly zone non-violently for nobody to get hurt and I'm going to land on the Capitol Mall in front of the Capitol building. But it was a genuine threat immediately raising questions about the protection for the nation's leaders. How does an individual in the airspace get that close? Especially when the pilot, identified as 61-year-old Doug Hughes from Tampa, Florida, taken away in handcuffs immediately after landing, his gyrocopter checked out by a robot and then cleared by the bomb squad in full protective garb. He had made no secret of his plans to protest by carrying out a dramatic, bold act of civil disobedience. He told his friends and family of his plans to land his copter on the Capitol grounds, intending to deliver letters to Congress demanding change in campaign finance laws. What he wanted to do was uh, very brave and all that, uh, even if a little bit stupid. And when his family called the Secret Service a year and a half ago, he told the agents of his plans too. And he told the local newspaper, which made this video of Hughes learning to fly the copter, practicing and making YouTube videos from the cockpit. All along, emphasizing this was not terrorism, just a crazy stunt. Terrorists don't announce their flights before they take off. Okay. Uh, terrorists don't broadcast their flight path. No sane person would do what I'm doing. A protest mission he was willing to die for, says his friend in Tampa. He knew the risks. He knew he could die. He knew he could be arrested. And he also knew that he could go and go to jail. But he was willing to do that. The Secret Service said in a statement overnight they did investigate Hughes a year and a half ago, but no one warned them of the pending flight on the day of.